Welcome to the St. Michael Easter podcast series. My name is Greg Pickens, and I will be leading our meditation today. Our theme this Easter is Big Love. God's holy work is fulfilled in the resurrection of Christ, the defeat of death itself. We have received the gift of new life, and we can use that gift to spread God's big love to those near and far. Joining Christians everywhere during this Easter season, we proclaim with joy, Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. A reading from John chapter 16, verses 4 through 15. Jesus said, I did not say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you, but now I am going to him who sent me, Yet none of you asks me, where are you going? But because I have said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will prove the world wrong about sin and righteousness and judgment about sin, because they do not believe in me, about righteousness, because I am going to the Father, and you will see me no longer, about judgment, because the ruler of this world has been condemned. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason, I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. Here ends the reading. Jesus had some strong words for his disciples, but it was surely not the first time they had heard something similar from the mentors they had in their lives. Now, no one knows how old the disciples were at the time of this interaction, but we do know that they had occupations and so were considered grown men. They were responsible for using their skills to feed their extended families and themselves. Mentors are common in these situations. Andrew, Peter, James, John, Nathaniel, Thomas, and Philip had to learn about the hardships of fishing from someone. Surely Matthew certainly had to be taught about collecting taxes in a hostile environment. And Simon Zealot? He may have been a politician, or at the very least a subversive political organizer. Each of these had to have been taught the basics of their trade in order for them to be accepted by their community. Everyone had a job for the good of the whole. But anyone who has had a good mentor recognizes that there are some commonalities with parenting. Demonstrations of skill have to be followed by creating a space for the one learning so they can learn their craft Parents do this all the time when they teach their kid how to mow the yard or help their kid with the multiplication tables. Few parents desire the same relationship with their 30-year-old kid as they had at 12. I dare say any 30-year-old has the same thoughts. And certainly no mentor or spiritual director wants to repeat the same lessons over and again, never getting past the basics. Parents and mentors must pull away so healthy growth can happen. This reading is a good reminder that the Lord calls each of us out of our pews and into the world, calls us to take the lessons from our churches and implement them out in God's vineyard. Easter is a powerful reminder that we are designed to communicate God's love on our own and out in the world. This is what we were created to do. May we take this Easter as an opportunity to spread God's love in new ways. Amen. 
Please join me as we continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, overcame death, and open to us the gate of everlasting life. Grant that we, who celebrate with joy the day of the Lord's resurrection, may be raised from the death of sin by your life-giving Spirit. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen.